Hi, if you are new here, I'm Kanitia, and if you're already watching my channel, welcome back! Today we are going to watch 34th episode of Jojo Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind. Um, the previous episode was uh, the worst episode of this part, and I really don't feel like watching the next one. I'm I'm super like, worried for some reason, even though like the, the worst has already happened, um, I still feel scared um, anyway, but I want to know what happens next, I'm very curious, and it looks like uh, Jorna and the boss are like, in the same, can I call it a room, in the same room right now, so it feels like things are going to escalate um, pretty soon, maybe to the finale, even though it's oh, it should be 39 episodes, so maybe like not the final fight yet. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see how this is going to go, what is going to happen there, and we see a strange thing in the end of the previous episode, so something to do with an arrow. Okay, enough talking, let's see what happens, let's go. Oh, that's not the thing I want to see again, you know. I still, I have to admit, his Diavolo design looks very cool. I like the long hair. The arrow, can't you see? What, he can't... Why did the arrow fall from my hands? Even his clothes changed. How did he manage that? Yes, but he was melted with a arrow somehow, maybe... I'm not, I'm, I'm not really sure what... I have no idea, to be honest. What? What? So, not only Diavolo is affected, they are affected too? They are f falling asleep, losing consciousness? So, is this like what's left of Silver Chariot, somehow thanks to an arrow, trying to carry the arrow away so it's in the safe place? Uh, that's the only thing, like uh, the last wish uh, that you can use before dying. That's the only assumption I can make for now or something else, because it doesn't look like Silver Chariot and... I don't think there are any statues there uh, that could be brought to life uh, thanks to an arrow to uh, do this thing. So yeah, <laughs> I'll have to uh, continue watching to find out. All right, a softly playing re requiem part one. <laughs> I'm always scared to see a dog. Everyone is falling asleep. They are snoring, so they are not, like, lost consciousness, they actually fell as... Actually fell asleep. And the arrow did all of that? Hmm. The bee is not sleeping, though. I wonder, like, how much... Time... Is this... Ah... Uh, Wait, is this Trisha's hair or... Yes. And how is Bruna, I wonder? He says it feels like they were sleeping for hours. Why there's blood on his... What? Yeah. 
Yeah, I've... <gasps> okay, I, I'm not very good at remembering voices, but I thought their voices sound strange, and then they started acting strange. Is this Mister's voice? I'm very super bad at recognizing voices, just so you know. I'm very terrible at this. Her voice is also not right. <laughs> That's the first thing you go for! <laughs> not even... Okay. I just wish I was better at this so I could understand right away who are they exactly. Ah, I, I get it. So, is this the blood on his hands? She took a gun, so maybe... It should be Mr. I think, in Jorna's body. And... Is this Trish in Mr.'s body? Narancia also changed. So Narancia and Jorna and Trish and Mista. Okay. I'm sorry I couldn't figure it out right away. I already explained why. Everything that's connected to sounds like voices and music. I'm super bad with recognizing this. Uh, and only... I'm, I wonder if Bruna is even alive. And why did they change bodies? Wait, and what about Diavolo? He was there too. Uh, did he exchange with anyone? <laughs> this is something I didn't expect at all. What the heck is going on? I like that. They are now addressing each other like for the soul that's inside the body. Yeah, that's the only voice I would probably recognize. Jorna has a very calming voice, I like. <laughs> what is this question? And I wonder, like, do they need an arrow to change back now? <laughs> Is this, like, the worst option? <laughs> well, that's not strange. They are, like, jumping around and all of that. Um, of course, they are going to get sweaty. I don't think that's because of that reason. Just because nothing else has been sold in the shops. <laughs> Trish was actually always very sweet with Narancia in particular. Um, we saw several times how she was kind of tending to him, and it was pretty sweet. Who did Bruno swap with? But if he is not even alive, uh, then 
he wouldn't swap with anyone, right? Like Diavolo? That would be crazy. <laughs> But we have two dead people here, and also we had Diavolo. Maybe you can't use it because you are in another body. Can you use gold experience though? Why don't you try? <laughs> though it should be like... Yeah, the stand should be your soul, not your body. What? Exchanging abilities made them... Well, not ab exchanging bodies. Uh, abilities still in your soul. Made them stronger? But how? I don't think swapping your minds should work like that. Is this like what the arrow does? Is this how it helps you? Because that's... That's questionable. Are, are these people all going to exchange minds too? That is going to be crazy. Let's see. Yeah, they exchanged. With the person who was nearest to them. They all got swapped. That's... That's <laughs> crazy. How are we going to be exchanged back? <laughs> Maybe he managed to get away after all. Uh, he was kind of away from everyone. Maybe he didn't exchange body with anyone. I think the closest he was was to Paul Narev. But if he exchanged body with Paul Narev, that would be really like he, he would be in a pinch. <laughs> and it, it would be crazy. Someone exchanged minds with Coca Jamba? What is he doing? He, he w like was still barely alive and he managed that's why he used this ability to use this turtle's body but it kind of exchanged everyone okay does this count as him being alive because I I'll take it <laughs> Maybe it's temporary? So his soul did went like out of his body, but then it's just like went into the turtle. Hmm. 
does this mean that the total is dead? Like the total soul is dead? Yeah. Hey, it's not some dead guy. Because he's in a turtle? Because of the narrow. He managed to get away. He exchanged bodies with Silver Chariot. <laughs> um, it's impossible. Even though we saw it was affecting him too. Neutral player. Two years ago. If he found this out before his initial battle with Diavolo, maybe it would have gone differently. So when a stand touches an arrow, And gets hurt by an arrow. Draws out a stand from those with potential, but if it pierces a stand, then a stand gets a stand! Eh? <laughs> no? <laughs> so, like, it upgrades your stand? While Kira got an additional ability, he was pierced himself. But when a stand gets hit... It kinda... Upgrades him? <gasps> so it was him then. He looks the same. And he managed to stop it. So it makes, it doesn't only upgrade your stand, it makes it uh, make its own decisions, so to say. Like become a separate entity in a sense. Control the minds, like exchanging them, right? So we have to get an arrow from Chariot to use it somehow. <laughs> so like he is going to die anyway. It's only a temporary thing. Can they be... <laughs> because they're in the same body. 
two minds in the same body, two souls. Oh, do we? I'm still not sure. It's like two different people in one body or two shades of one person. That's him, that's Diavola in his own body. And Coco Jumbo doesn't have his ability anymore because... <gasps> they recognized it from the stone! The shadow? <gasps> Chariot is here. <gasps> He's trying to retrieve the arrow. What? They did exchange! Wait, then it means that... It means that Diavola is in Bruna's dying body right now? So they did exchange? That crazy! And also... Yeah, as I said, uh, Coca Jamba went into Polnareff's body, and Polnareff's body is dead. So, can I assume that Coca Jamba is now also dead? Like, does your mind uh, die if you go into the dying person's body? I'm not sure, but anyway, like, we can't use the turtle to hide into it anymore, anyway. So, it's because it's like Polnareff. And. Uh, um, he said that his stand is still going to, like, disappear when the arrow is taken from him. Uh, maybe because, I don't know, the first time he used it, it was right. Maybe he means that uh, he won't be able to control it anyway, even if it becomes normal again. Uh, because made, even though, like, a total was a stand user, so he should have enough power to use a stand. Uh, but maybe, like, his soul... He accepted that he is dead and he wants to like go to heaven or whatever they have there and he just lingered for a while longer to talk to our guys and relay some information to them and then he is just uh, going to leave Coca Jumper's body and uh, go away. Even though like leaving it as a total uh, it's not that bad I think. Uh, he could be a nice cute pet. <laughs> Um, it's still like, okay, do I want to say anything else? Uh, this was a very confusing episode. <laughs> um, that's a very crazy thing. That, so, the arrow, but how can we use uh, this arrow to our advantage if we uh, use it on our stands, like gold experience? It's just going to go berserk, just like Chariot did, like, what good will it do for us? So we have to come up with a new nice idea how we could tame this arrow and use it to our advantage, I guess. And then that will help us defeat Diavola. And also, yeah, as I said before, Diavola is in Bruna's dying body. Uh, that's quite a predicament for him. Uh, how this is going to go? Is he going to, like, stay there? And um, I'm not sure. I'll have to watch the next episode. Uh, but... I already, like, I was told that the episodes 33 and 34 should be watched together. Uh, so, yeah, there was um, a little break for me between these episodes. Actually, I did not watch them together. And then I was told that episode 35 uh, should be can, can be watched 
uh, separately. So um, I actually like just found time today to watch only one episode. So I'm not going to watch episode uh, 35 yet, even though I'm super curious, uh, but maybe I'll find time like tomorrow or somewhere soon uh, because I, I think like every episode is going to be um, so like <laughs> making me want to watch the next one because we are close and closer to the end so of course um, they are very exciting but um, I'm not sure if I'm ready to gather my thoughts like let's go from like from the very beginning of the episode uh, yeah, they exchanged bodies, so now uh, they are going to retrieve the arrow and Bruna, who is still alive in Diavola's body for now, uh, will help them. Uh, but also, like, the, m this little moment with Diavola being Diavola and Doppio, how this is going to work in this scheme of things, this is also interesting. So, yeah, of course... Uh, when you share your thoughts in the comments, please, like, don't explain me everything yet that is going to be explained in the next episodes, because uh, I would prefer to find it out, like, by watching. So if something is going to be explained in the next and, like, the next after next episode, uh, then don't explain it just yet. So share your thoughts without spoilers, of course. Uh, but that would be it for today. So thank you for watching. Uh, say hi, Kakoin. I took him because I was worried uh, that this episode is going to be scary. But it was actually, it was not scary. It was a very nice episode. Uh, it made me a bit happier. <laughs> At least for now. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. And see ya. Mm -hmm.